Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. <laughs> Look at these baby soft hands. Trimming sucks. At least I didn't cut myself again today. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. Part of the fun. I ain't sexier. He's definitely hitting on me. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? I did. Love the Jerry Springer moment, when Hannah and Cass started picking on each other. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. <laughs> Short-term memory loss. It was kind of their way of, like, being with each other, though. Maybe I shouldn't have really talked about it. How was your day? Did you have fun outside? <laughs> nope. Picked up branches and shit. Got covered in mud. Would not recommend. Still sounds better than sitting on your ass all day. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. A job, cash, friends, safety. John, everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? Swear. He acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. He's also got a kick-ass hermano. Yeah, <laughs> my brothers are like that. Ah, that's why they get along so well. So, what's your story? Um, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but... Yeah, I was pretty lucky. My parents were... okay. <laughs> I had three big brothers who spoiled me. Aw, <laughs> you were the baby boy? Like Daniel. <laughs> but my family was kind of... Mm, messed up. My dad was like a front for hot cars. Yeah. He'd steal, strip, and sell them. My brothers and I helped him. You know, typical shit. Till we got... Busted. <laughs> Fucking feds wanted me and my brothers to testify. <laughs> but my dad narked on us instead. What? Damn, Finn. That sucks. Uh, what happened? I went to jail. When I got out, I was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so I hit the road, Jack. And anyways... I found a cooler family out here. You know, I love traveling, checking out new things. Well, you know, yeah, going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. If we make it there, dude, who knows? It's pretty scary. It's so fucking far. Hey, hey, it is. But you have time and a strong, uh, damn it, uh, will. Yeah. N nothing can stop you from going there. Uh, it will be all right, Sean. Don't worry. Okay. Thanks, man. Therapy's over. Oh, yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, Sean. Finally. Glad I can help. Just wanted to look- oh, we got a new page. February 23rd, 2017, Agent 420, Gimme Hot Dogs, Cassidy the Wild vs. Hannah the Wise. They were getting into a bit of a row, but they were pretty chill in the end. We got a pen, New York City Law School, oh, whose pen is this? 
Yeah, that means we missed the first one. But we're back at the camp again, so I wonder if we can get it again. So, Hannah, how long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. I left Santa Fe because it was hell. No money, nobody. Hitched north, worked on farms, learned how to trim. Had to bail after some tweaker tried to attack me up in Arcata. What? That is awful, Hannah. I almost killed that fuck. But I came back to Humboldt because of Finn. I had this sweet deal with Meryl. It is nicer here than other places we saw. Too many junkies and homeless. They go together sometimes. No home, get high. What the fuck else are you gonna do on the street? Clean it up? We see so much trash in the forest around here. California is very green, but starting to look like shit. Not everybody has time to fucking recycle or compost their shit. Especially when you live off the grid. We all should try. It's everybody's planet, too. Sweden is not perfect, but we try to be more eco-conscious. We only have one planet. Not for long. It's true. We gotta do something. That's what we're saying. Blah fucking blah. Taurus talking shit again. Like you guys have it so hard. We did not say that we did. Tell me again how many hours you spent on a plane during your awesome trip around the world, and then you come crying about hobos spreading garbage in the forest? Good point. Now you're here sponging off us trash on an illegal pot farm with a tourist visa lecturing us. Funny, right? Hannah, I'm sorry. We were not trying to lecture you. We are grateful we found that job and that you let us stay in the camp with you guys. I know. We're cool. Do you hate us now? You're funny. Don't worry. You'd know if I hated you. All I care about is my family right here. These three gutter punks. The rest, none of my business. Oh, Penny, Cassidy, Finn. I'm just kind of stopping by too. I'm not staying for long. Not used to peeling potatoes, huh? A lot of work. I know how to cook. Just not everything. Yet. Yeah, but you hate it. You want a pizza, watch TV. I can tell. Like those kids who come through here all psyched, and they have to bust ass, and they're gone. They're staying here forever. They're not leaving. I know I have a lot to learn. I mean, you've been doing this for years, right? Pretty much. Ten years or so. I know, I know. We all got scars of our own. I just fucking hate phonies. Too many here. Crusty backpack doesn't make you one of us. I don't want to try so hard to fit in. Uh. Well, what do I got to do to pass initiation? Don't be a pussy. Stand up for us. You can't be part of our family unless you open up. This is a family too. Not a pit stop. Out in the wild, sharing is caring. I hear you, but my brother comes first. Always. That's good. Shows you're not a selfish prick. That way too many. You don't have to tell me, but how did you end up on the road? My community was a mess. Too much wasted talent. My mom, she was an artist and a drunk. Tried to get her into rehab countless times. Worked my ass off to buy her paint and stuff. Until I realized she was just returning everything to Z-Mart to get the cash back to buy her booze. Mm. I just knew I had to get the fuck out before that curse would get me too. I'm glad you're at peace now. It feels like you don't necessarily have to work on an illegal pot farm. So, how did you hook up with the others? Met Finn, had some squat when he got out of jail. Young punk, but old soul. We just clicked. Then we ran into Cassidy a year ago. Pissed at everything. Really? Her, unable to commit to anything. Except us. Then Pennywise found us. Here in Humboldt. Tripping about his friend Jinx. But, you know. He just fit in. Now we're all pretty fucking tight. Hell yeah you are. It's awesome. 
That's great, and a little bit surprising to hear about Cassidy because she seems really mellow. So it's surprising that she used to be so angry. So, are you satisfied with your life now? I'm grateful for what I have, yeah. Not everything is perfect, but we got balance, prospects. That's way more than I had before. Thanks for taking the time to talk, Hannah. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, didn't mean to grill you, Sean. It was a long day. No worries, nice talking to you. Hope you get the hand fixed soon. Whoa. Hannah's tough to figure out. Don't fuck with her. Restock water for the kitchen and the shower. So that's our last thing here. Almost done. Hey, kiddo. I actually never helped him with the dishes back in Seattle. But everything's different now. Ask for help. Need two more hands, Dishmaster? Uh, yeah. That'd be cool. I'm on it. So boring. <laughs> yeah. I don't miss doing the dishes. Then why are we doing them? Because we won't have plates if we don't do them. <laughs> Very simple. That's it. Finally. Need a hand with your own chores? That'd be awesome. I need help moving the water tanks to the shower and kitchen. Okay. I'll wait for you near the water tank so we can take on those barrels. Thanks, man. Daniel is not... It's just tough because he's a kid and... Kids' moods fluctuate very, very easily, I feel like. Hell yeah, let's snoop. Has anyone seen my face? <laughs> These guys know how to make a bong out of pretty much anything. And now I do too. Aww. They look so cute here. They do. I love how they're like a real family. A found family. In contrast to me and Daniel. Brothers by blood. Wonder if they'd give me a cool nickname if I stayed here. Baptist Dean Mikhail? AKA Penny. 1995. How old am I again? 2000. He's quite a bit older than me. Shit. Guess Penny's looking for somebody. That sucks. Yeah, Hannah mentioned it earlier. Arthur Jinx Lee. He needs medical care. Mm. Who is this again? Do they have the same last name? Wonder if they don't. give me a cool nickname if I stayed here. A friend? Nice to have a dog around again. Still miss Shroom. Daniel wears Shroom's bandana on him now. Ah, you're strumming. That's cool they let us use their extra gear. We lucked out. If we stole one from that store in episode one, we'd have one. Cassidy is the one singing right now. Time to take the pen, dude. What's Finn doing anyway? He's just sort of fiddling with his knife. I like how Cassidy is in her own world when she's playing music. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Boo! <laughs> Man, 
and you are so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah, um, thanks. <laughs> that may be the judge. Whoa, whoa, give it back, please. Cassidy, do not even look. Whoa, <laughs> down boy. Really, Sean? I didn't mean to freak. <laughs> Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> You're good. Wow. <laughs> I look happy. Like, I belong here. <laughs> I love how you see me, Sean. I think I look cooler as a sketch. Really? You think it's okay? <laughs> no, I'm just being nice. If it was bad, you would know. I don't lie. Well, I could never draw like that. What's your secret? I don't know. I just get inspired by the things I see and do. And uh, being around people like you helps a lot. You're my muse. So I'm like your muse. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> well, uh, you're a great model. Yeah. Oh, don't make me blush. We all learn from each other, right? That's why I love my life right now. Finally. <laughs> yeah, but we don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. What do you miss about your old life? Anything? Besides some friends? Nothing. Well, my own bathroom. <laughs> Out here, you see that you don't need all that bullshit they sell. <laughs> That's freedom. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. I do like traveling around, but I want a base. Will you ever go back to Texas? No fucking way. My daddy was a meth head who beat the shit out of my boyfriend. Just because he wasn't wet. Yep. Then my big brother told me he would shoot me if I dated. Dated that, well, you know, my mom didn't say spot as usual. Thanks, mom. So, fuck them all. This is my family now. Damn, I'm sorry, Cassidy. <laughs> ah, don't be. I feel sorry for them. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life? <laughs> How much do the people here know? They don't know about my dad, do they? They don't know about the thing in Seattle. They just know that for some reason, my brother and I are on the road. Being carefree would be like in relation to taking care of Daniel, right? Family and friends. Kind of don't want to say this because I have new friends here and when you make new friends, you don't want to be like, Oh, I miss my old friends. I feel like this one's pretty all-encompassing. Everything. Because I didn't appreciate shit when I had it. Like, just waking up at night to get a bowl of fucking squeaky next cocoa. <laughs> oh my god. I used to eat those too. You always think it's gonna be there. Stupid stuff like that. But... Things change, right? Yep, so keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. <laughs> I'm sort of getting the impression that we can get to know either Cassidy or Finn a little bit better. I feel like they both are kind of into me. Oh. I don't really have a preference for each one, so I guess I'll just see where my choices take me. Like just now for the drawing, I thought Cassidy looked cooler on the guitar as opposed to yes, Finn. Yes, I know. Go fill the water tanks. I have one job. Cause he's just sort of sitting here. But frankly, both of these people are way too cool for me. <laughs> hey. Hola. 
¿Qué hay esta, señor? Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Estás ensayando para la voz? Uh, no comprendo. Don't laugh. Still learning, professor. At least you're trying. Hey, am I bugging you? Never. But let me finish this new song before I forget it. Don't let me get in the way. Talk later. Damn, Sean. Can you try and be less shy sometimes? <laughs> Jen feels like a lifetime ago. I do love these trees. Ancient and majestic. I still feel like there should be a collectible somewhere here, but that dog is just sort of gone. Speaking of which, what's the next one? A knife! Oh, that's gotta be with Finn. What up? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. Ooh! It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. Yeah, I just let my hands sculpt the wood, and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just fun to relax. Finn is too punk rock to be a farmer. Yeah, so if we drew Finn, probably we would have gone a lengthier conversation with him. Unfortunately, we can't get it here, but um, I'll come back for you next playthrough, Finn. Wait for me. <laughs> don't want the crew to get pissed if I don't get their water. I can't go here anymore? Nope. I need to take care of those water tanks. Mm-hmm. So where does, um... Big Joe sleep? I assume he's got like an actual house and all. And he doesn't stay near us. He's not really one of us. I think I made some good trims today. And talking with the girls is always... Entertaining. Hmm. Hey, Dan. Oh, I gotta talk to Anders and Ingrid first. And Jacob. Snoop in Jacob's tent. Hello, Dolly. You're old. You're missing an eye. That's some deep shit. What is it? That's some deep shit. America. Versus God. Must be tough to be so far away from his sister. Oh, the chicken. Happy birthday, Sarah. I'm sorry I can't be there to eat all your cake and open all your presents. Hope you have a fun party with mom and dad and your friends. I can't wait to see you again and show you all my cool pictures of California. I'll call when I get the chance to sing happy birthday. Hugs Alexander, your brother Jake. Yeah, the four people here, they stay here permanently. But then, like, everyone else around here, they just come and go. Probably? Why were Finn and Cassidy in the Christmas market? Were they just chilling out? So cool he carries this around. Wish I could see the pictures he took of us. Reminds me of Max. Hmm. <laughs> Wonder who's her mom. And who's the other woman? What? What do you mean, wonder? Oh, this is a lady. Oh, there's two ladies here. Oh, so maybe it's like his half-sister? Okay. Weird. Where did he get that from? A tie. Is that really so uncommon? Oh, I think I will miss it here. Same. But we can't resist the wanderlust. Plus, Portland's waiting for us. 
<sighs> I think I'll take a nap. Me too. I'm exhausted after today. Max and Kate are having their date in Portland too. Maybe Daniel can help me lift those tanks. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Pick up a loan? Or ask to lift? No! No, 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 no. <laughs> I want you to help me, the old-fashioned way. Is that okay? <sighs> Let's get these over to the kitchen and chow. Wait, the kid left! Oh, was that the only way he could've helped me? Since he's kinda, um, he's not that strong physically? Dang. Penny's all over the place. He'll go anywhere. Daniel! Daniel left me. I didn't want him using the powers right next to freaking Anders and Ingrid, though. Oh, man. But I do feel like we should bond with Daniel a little bit. But he's gone! I was really in the zone today. Hope that'll pay. Daniel, can we find him somewhere? Oh my goodness. We could have just chatted. Yeah, Jacob's not around. Daniel's not around. One more tank to handle. Then I'll be done with this. I don't know how to feel about Daniel's powers still. Because obviously it has its uses, but um, Sean officially, judging by the knife throwing thing, he still thinks it's not a good idea to use it in front of other people, which makes sense. Let's carry that one to the shower. Hmm. I don't know, it's hard. Like last time, if Daniel use his powers to save Chris, then obviously that's a good thing. But it's not because of a series of good choices, right? It's just sort of resulted Damn. from luck. Trimming is hard. How do these guys keep coming back? Wait, I don't bring it here? Shower. The shower is... Oh, over there. Oh, I wish Daniel was here. At least I helped him with his dishes. Wonder what they all say about me. Hmm. We good? Everybody? Meet Daniel at the lake for his training. Ah, I got it. Yeah, the lake was beyond the point with the knife. Hopefully no one's gonna sneak up on us though, huh? I wish we gotta walk there together, like, I don't know, he can just walk alongside me while I'm carrying the tanks or something. He doesn't have to use his powers. Uh, it just feels like we haven't really had time to talk lately since we've been kind of on edge. Easy money, they said. Yeah, right. But maybe just like Finn said, we gotta let go a little bit. It's hard for everybody here. Sweet. But can you do it without your power? Well, 
He never bothered to teach me, so I found my own technique. Onward. Ready to rumble? I am so ready. We didn't teach him back in episode one because I missed it. Let's start with our team how. T.S. Lobos. Still sound okay. Now let's do this. Come on. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. You first, Daniel. Not seeing a lot of animals around. Guess our pack is stronger. Guessing it's cause there's a lot of people around here, right? Finn said he wants to show me this little cave or something. It's by the other side of the lake. Sounds cool. Count me in. They never invited me. Used to love collecting these when I was little. Might make for a cool souvenir. <laughs> Let me guess. I missed one already, didn't I? God damn it! Damn it! Okay, beer can, car. Beer can, car. I guess it's good training for you to lift this up. The other side of that log looked secluded enough to be out of sight. Hey, can you move that tree trunk? Duh. He's actually getting pretty comfortable with his powers now. Damn, you know what you're doing. Hey! <laughs> Your face! Come on, I wasn't gonna drop it on you. Very funny, man. Okay, let's have some fun. Glad to see you have control over it, but you know, accidents happen. That was kind of scary. We're out of sight here. It should be safe. Bet it's different here in the summer. Penny said it gets crazy crowded. People everywhere. Yeah, that's why we can train out here now. No people. Ew. These need a little harvest. Hmm, let's try this. I want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, it's toast. So it's not even just levitation. Kind of like what you could have done to the cougar. You just destroy them somehow. I'm waiting. Or maybe you... What the... Whoa! <laughs> I told you I rule. That's actually showing how little control you have, because I asked you to destroy the mushrooms, not the tree. Uh, what do you think Arizona is like? A desert? Why? No reason. Just curious. Let's see what he can do with multiple targets now. Uh, think you can lift all those? I know I can. He's getting pretty confident in his powers, too. Trick shots, look at that.
Whoa, Daniel, that's a, that's amazing. Aw, that's not hard. What? Daniel likes pine cones. Let's have a little fun with those. Pick a rock, any rock. Okay, and? Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Really? Damn! Awesome! Okay, you're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on. Holy shit. Wow. That was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? That was some next level shit, Daniel. Thanks. I've been training on my own sometimes. I know I haven't been around a lot lately. I don't think he told anybody. <laughs> I worry about Finn though. Mm, maybe we'll ask to confirm. You didn't tell anyone, did you? No way. Why would I? Not even Finn? No. Jeez, you don't even trust me. Whatever. No, 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 no. I was just asking. Uh, I don't like either of these. It's kind of escalating it. You better chill the fuck out, Daniel. I mean it. Why are you making a drama out of everything I say? Oh my god. No, 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 no! Why, why are we suddenly escalating this? We could have just been like, okay, cool. That's it. End conversation. Don't bring up Finn. Am I a bad big brother? Because I hang out with other people? You're always with them! That sucks. Oh, come on, Daniel. Bet you don't even want me around anymore. Don't say that. You know it's always you and me, and I know. I mean, never mind. That's it, enough. You're being a brat. You can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go. And we have to go together. Right? I know it sucks. But you have to grow up now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Daniel? Fuck. What are you doing? Stop! Daniel, stop it! Stop it, Daniel! No! Dude, someone's gonna see! I get it! I know you're powerful! God, we had such a good thing going on, and then one dialogue choice kind of ruined everything. Would it have changed if I did the other option? Kind of don't think so.